everyone. Good day to all of you. I hope you're all doing well. Here today, doing a camo test on the camo that needs no introduction, M81 Woodland. A lot of other people have already done camo tests on this. I'm just curious how well it does in my area and because it's fun, first and foremost. So how this is going to be structured is just like any of my other camo tests or how Brent0331 does his camo test. So I'll just go out, have a, a scene. I'll be hiding out there somewhere and I'll just be staying still and then eventually I'll, I'll move and just go scene to scene. And also for reference of the area, this is going to be taking place in the midsummer in the Rocky Mountains. So still pretty green here. It's starting to die out, get a little bit more brown, but uh, still plenty of green areas as you can see from the background behind me. Summarize my own thoughts here a little bit. I was actually impressed by the visible spectrum performance. I was expecting it to look too dark. Now, one caveat to keep in mind is although the woodland camo did blend in pretty well on most of the areas that I was in, I'll actually show a few, I'll, I'll call them a suboptimal reel. Uh, I was testing it in some of the more sagebrushy areas that were up there and some of the more kind of dead areas and Obviously, it does stand out quite a bit more there just because the, the color palette is different. But one thing I wanted to note is because the woodland camo is so dark colored, you have to keep that in mind a lot more because, you know, you always need to keep in mind how the camo looks and where it blends in well. But with more modern effective camos, my own particular favorite is something like Phantom Leaf or Con Camo. Those have a much wider range, or multicam as well for that matter, because that's kind of the whole purpose of it existing, is they have a much more wide range of environments that they can be used in effectively. Whereas woodland, like I said, you really have to keep that in mind and focus on that when you're trying to hide, trying to conceal yourself. So what I was trying to focus on, and this is something I noticed back when I did my five color flectarn test as well, that's another pretty dark camo. I thought it would work pretty well trying to hide in the shadows and actually that was terrible because you'd just look like a really black blob and you'd stand out even more than if you're more so in a brighter area not necessarily complete sunlight because as you saw that it also stands out pretty bad there but trying to focus on the lighting conditions was really something I was keeping at the forefront of my mind when doing this test to ensure that it's actually effective. Another thing I wanted to talk about, of course, I like to do an NIR test. So that's the footage you're looking at right now. The first part of this footage is just how it looks under regular moonlight. And then you can see I turn on the NIR uh, IR illuminator. And even with the IR illuminator being pretty close, maybe only 15 feet away, 
it worked really well. It didn't blow out the entire pattern on the actual M81 Woodland. So that's something I wanted to point out. It's actually my pants are a, an Emerson Gear clone. The rest of the things that I'm wearing are the true USGI M81 Woodland pattern, and you can see how well it looks under IR. You can really see those black spots, which don't work as well, I would say, under the visible spectrum. It makes it look a bit overly dark, but under night vision, it actually really blends in. If you look at the, the grapevines, for instance, that foliage behind me, it gives off a very similar type of shadow as the woodland camo does, which makes it work really great here. I like the pattern. It doesn't have the widest range of viability. Still works if you know how it looks and how to conceal yourself well. And if you are looking to pick some up for yourself, of course, very easy to pick up, but I would say to keep in mind, try to find stuff that's either made out of the original pattern, made to spec, or just genuine surplus items, of course, as well, which is what I did for my BDU jacket.